Okay, um, this is just a little tutorial on Fruity Loops. Uh, a lot of people have wondered how do I put audio onto Fruity Loops for their uh, music and whatnot so they can sing or whatever. I'm not a singer, so <laughs> don't expect it from me. Uh, but just to get a gist, let's just get a little beat in here so that it's not too boring. Okay. Um, now that we got that, we can minimize this and I can start showing you how to get some audio. Now, with the uh, Vista, I think Windows XP has it too. They have a thing on here called Sound Recorder, which is right here. Or you know, I could have just backed out, and it's right here too for me. But I, I've been using it. So you're gonna click Sound Recorder, and all you have to do is just click Record, start talking, do whatever you want, say boom. Who cares? Uh, just uh, to give you a little gist and stop there it's saved um, it'll only save it as a Windows media audio file which is you know WMA I already made one over here um, so you got that now um, <coughs> The Fruity Loop Studio does not take WMA, so you're going to have to find a converter. I would suggest the DB Power Amp Music Converter right here. This is what I got. Um, once you get that installed, all you have to do is right click it. And right here it says Convert to. Alright. Select right here for wave, uh, do whatever you want for the rest of this stuff. Um, I just left it as the same and it works out great. And click convert and you're done. And this is what you get. It doesn't take any time at all. Okay. Now that you got that, you're going to go back into FL Studio. Alright, you got your little beat. Paste a few bars here. Alright. Now you're going to come over to file, you're going to come into import, and uh, I'm not really sure about any of the other two, but I choose beat to slice, and, and I got it on my desktop. Notice here, it does not show the WMA file, it only shows the wave. Click record, blah blah blah, ha ha ha, okay, I'm done. And that's what I got. So, open it up. You're going to put it, well, you can put it wherever you want, really. Um, I choose recorded or uh, speech, whatever, whatever I find suits the best, as long as I can find it over here. Okay, so I'm choosing recorded, and it's going to say sampler channels, slicer channels, blah, 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 layered sample channels. Um... You know, I, I'll, for this tutorial, I'll just leave it like that. Keep off that and click the OK. Now it's embedded right here. Um, it kind of overlaps and whatnot, but uh, this is just a, <laughs> a novice telling you how to add this because a lot of people are asking and nobody can really give a straight up answer. They're all dodgy answers and whatnot, so. Yeah, there's that, and um, I am disconnected. Okay, um, anyway. So, I'll let you listen to what it sounds like. Click the core, blah, 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 ha, ha, ha. Okay, I'm done. Click the core, blah, 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 And that's the single. Now, as the whole song. Click the core, blah, blah, blah. And that's what you got.
So I hope that helps, guys. All right.